Hello, good morning friends. Myself Dr. Ruman Kumar, consultant pediatrician and neonatologist. And in today's video, we are going to discuss regarding one of the important findings of general examination that is pallor. So what is pallor? Pallor is the paleness of skin or mucous membrane that we see. Then what are the factors on which pallor depends? So number one is thickness and quality of skin. On this pallor may differ from patient to patient. And number two is the amount and quantity of blood in the capillaries. Say for example in shock, the amount of blood perfusion is less, so pallor will be there. And in case of severe anemia, the quantity of blood will be less or uh, the quality of blood will be also defective. So in that case, uh, you have to look for pallor. Now what are the regions of pallor? So number one, pallor with normal blood flow, this is the case in severe anemia. Then pallor due to decreased blood flow, this may be due to shock or left heart failure or vasoconstriction as in case of severe cold. Pallor due to thick skin may be due to certain endocrino endocrinological diseases like hypopituitarism and hypothyroidism. Then what are the sites to which we should examine for pallor? So the number one is lower palpebral conjunctiva. In this case, you have to ask the patient to look upwards and you have to gently uh, pull this lower eyelid downward and you can examine uh, pallor. Uh, number two is dursang of tongue. In this case, ask the patient to protrude the tongue and if there is severe anemia, you can uh, say that this patient is having pallor. While he is showing his tongue, you can also examine his oral mucosa regarding paleness. Then uh, next site is your palmar creases. These are the palmar creases and uh, if they are deep or not, you can uh, examine. And if you can compare with your patient if you, are, if you yourself is not anemic. Then number uh, and plantar creases in case of uh, these newborns. Uh, we see palmar and uh, plantar creases both. Then examination of the skin, generalized skin appearance and nails also gives idea regarding pallor. Then what is the grades of pallor? So the grade of pallor is categorized in two categories. Number one is severe pallor where this palmar crease becomes faint and uh, moderate pallor where the paleness of the mucosa is there but the pink hue of the palmar crease is maintained. So these are the two categories of pallor. Then uh, uh, on the basis of this, you have to go uh, regarding the various causes of pallor and in that case, you may, uh, the, your viva may land up into various types of anemia and causes of anemia or sometimes what are the causes of shock or what are the mimic uh, mimickers of uh, pallor like uh, in case of severe cold if a newborn bo baby is exposed to cold in that case uh, his uh, uh, extremities uh, due to vasoconstriction may uh, look pale so these are certain conditions in which pallor is seen so i hope this uh, video will be useful to you and in next uh, video we will talk regarding other uh, general examination finding so thank you till then and if you like this video, uh, share, subscribe to your friends also. Thank you.